broadcast tragic news from the brush fire that is raging in Berlin and Meriden. A Weathersfield firefighter working to contain those flames has died. He was in an off-road vehicle on Lamentation Mountain when that vehicle rode off the trail. That's right. We have News 8's Kent Pierce live for us now at Weathersfield Fire Headquarters with the details this morning. Hi, Kent. Good morning to you. Lauren Keith, good morning to you. We've got the purple and black bunting up already here at the Weathersfield Fire Headquarters honoring Robert Sharkovich Sr., the firefighter that was part of the team trying to contain what is now called the Hawthorne Fire. First responders last night lining up to salute Sharkovich as his body was taken to the medical examiner's office in Farmington. The accident happened on the south end of the fire in Meriden around 5.30 p.m. Meriden police say Sharkovich was driving what's called a UTV. It's an off-road vehicle that can hold multiple people. He was on a steep, rocky incline when it rolled over on top of him. The Berlin fire chief said they had to roll it off to assess how badly Sharkovich was hurt. What's the mood like? Yeah, while there is sadness, there's also a push from these guys. They, they want to continue on because that's what they do out there. We are offering a stress debriefing to all the firefighters. Most of the crews that have worked today and were involved with the operations involving the firefighters involved in the accident will be taken offline and allowed a period to, to just regroup themselves. Three other firefighters were treated and released for minor injuries in that accident. Sharkovich retired from the Hartford Fire Department and joined Weathersfield. He's said to be well-known and well-loved by his peers. Governor Lamont put out a statement that he is heartbroken by the news. Same sentiment from the Attorney General, from the Weathersfield Mayor. It shows the many dangers that first responders face in doing their job. And the job there is far from over on Lamentation Mountain. The firefighting efforts continue, and my colleague Brittany Taylor is live there this morning with the latest on that. Good morning, Brittany.